So similar, very, very similar, because I loved the idea of using the embossing folder um, to kind of add a little bit of detail behind. And then look at the beautiful, this is some of that sheer. It's actually pool party, but I thought it worked really well with our Coastal Cabana card base. I think um, they can really complement each other nicely. And I love this stamp too, so I had to use that one on it. This sentiment is actually from... Um, what, okay, what's she saying? When the runner gets stuck, run it over some adhesive. You have art. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. If we get stuck, we'll try that. Yeah, because I have had a problem where I run it and then I go to like lift up and run it again and it's not working at all. So I like that idea. Grab, go back and grab, yeah, to help run it through. All right, that's a good idea. All right, we might have to try that if we have. Now I won't have any problems because just because, right? But <laughs> okay, we'll see. I shouldn't even say that yet, should I, right? Okay, scooting things out of the way. Lots of stuff on this one here. Okay, I just need a, the stamp. Oh, I know what I was starting to tell you guys. I was gonna show you the other stamp set that we are using. The, uh, this is a beautiful one too. It's called Lovely You. So I used the Just Because sentiment right here, right? But we've got, I love all of these. This reminds me of a stamp set like from way back in the day when I first started stamping. There was something about kind of the regular, I'm gonna say regular writing with the cursive writing and it was very similar to this and I loved that stamp set. I'm sure I don't have it any longer but it, it just kind of brought me back to like beginning stamping days, almost 10, no, more than 10 years ago now, right? I think it was 2008. Isn't that crazy? I don't even know exactly when I bought the starter kit. Plus I was standing for a few years before that. So it's been a while, but love these, right? Love is what makes us family, miles apart, but still in my heart. Cherished friend, trust me, you're lovely. Smile, let's cheer you up. Heartfelt, wildly grateful. You're my person just because and always. And then some really pretty fun flowers here as well. So these are pretty similar, these stamp sets, I think. They've got with the nice sentiments, sorry, that just like bonked everything all over, didn't it? Yeah, I feel like they're a good complement to each other, these stamp sets are, so. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So let's see, what are we gonna do? Let me actually tell you about sizes so I don't forget, right? We'll give you dimensions of everything. here. Hello, Miss Debbie. Glad you can be here with us. So very similar, this time we made a tall card though. So again, Coastal Cabana, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. This time along the eight and a half inside, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then, can you guys see that? I'm like off a little bit. Oh, I'm way off. Ooh, I didn't realize how bad that was. Sorry guys, you wouldn't even be able to see like the bottom of what I'm doing here. There, are we up? We're almost there. Oh my gosh, sorry, 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 guys. Okay, so along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Then, right here, again, making our nice crisp fold on our card, as always. I feel like I always say that, because I always do that. Another piece of Coastal Cabana, again, measures four by five and a quarter inches. This is the piece we're gonna emboss. Then I just have some scraps of basic black and whisper white. Thank you for the share, Debbie. And then actually some more Whisper White. So these pieces we're just gonna use for the die cutting, stamping, and the sentiment right there. And one thing I wanna try, I like the little bit of black peeking out, but I kinda of wanna see if I cut this one with a smaller square and you see a little bit more black. We're gonna try that one and see which one we like better on this one, okay? So let's see, let's do our stamping. You know what, I wanna do, um, <laughs> I think I did my die cutting of my square and then I put my stamping on because I want to make sure I have room for all my flowers and they don't cut off. So let's do that. I do want to do my just because. We're going to stamp this, then do our die cutting and come back and do this floral stamping. Okay, make sense? Maybe. Okay, so we're going to use our black memento ink for our just because sentiment. We're going to stamp that right on there. I love that. The cursive. I wish I could write like that. That's probably why I like it so much. You know, pretty. <laughs> My handwriting is so bad these days. Okay, so since we're all set up to do our embossing, let's do that first with our, this time we're using, where did it go? The Parisian embossing folder, okay? I love that this carried over too. Yay. So we're gonna pop that. And I'm trying to get it kind of centered you can see, so I want like my scrolls, 
um, to be centered kind of side to side here. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna crank this baby through. Isn't that funny? I thought I really didn't have much to tell you guys about today, but those swaps took uh, longer than I thought. I was thinking I was gonna be less than an hour, but it probably wound up being a little bit more, which is fine, right? We're all having a good time. Okay, so now, we're gonna have to do this separately though. Okay, so we have, first of all, these are the perfect parcel dies. Uh, oh, watching from the beach, that is awesome, Debbie. Well, how cool, I wanna be at the beach too. So I love that little label from this. Again, the perfect parcels dies, okay? And then, so now I want to show you. So we're going to use for the black that we're going to do in a moment. This is the very largest scallop edge square. So instead of using this baby for our white, I want to use the next smallest. So let's see. Can I figure that out? So that one went right there. So that was actually probably the largest straight edge. So we're going to go with this next largest straight edge. So this is the second largest straight edge, not the very largest. We're gonna try that one. Maybe it'll be too small, but we're gonna try it and see, because I'm curious. Okay, so we've got those. Okay, cranking, cranking, cranking. All right, I'm gonna pop these out. This is my favorite. I still love the little detail, the little stitching and scallop edge there, right, of that one. Okay, so that's all good. And then this is what we're going to do our stamping on. So we just have one more, uh, the black. We just are going to cut the scallop edge again with the largest scallop edge die in the layering squares dies. Okay. Pull that right off of there and scoot this out of the way. Okay. Oh, I'm like tossing everything everywhere. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is going to go, yeah, I might even like that better. We're going to just have to see about that. Okay, so now on this one, we are going to do our stamping. Got my little scrap paper there, so I make sure I have, I want to get everything on that I can here. Okay, stamp right here. So we are using Melon Mambo ink. We're going to use that one first, and we're going to stamp those way up high. And then I'm actually gonna grab my scrub, stamp and scrub. We're gonna clean that off because next I want to use some Mango Melody ink. And we're gonna put those, let's see if I go maybe right about there, kind of end up off the edge a little bit, right? Then we need our, this one, the Granny Apple Green. We're gonna stamp our leaves now leaves right here. <laughs> I brought them over. I didn't think I had them. Okay, so we're going to do... Oh, isn't that funny? I angled that quite a bit. I didn't quite realize that, but that's going to be okay. So those are going to go there, and those are going to go there, and I got that on my thumb. Okay. All right. Now we are... Okay, so this is the moment, right? So I guess I... I don't know. Isn't that funny? Now I'm trying to figure out how I hold it different than maybe somebody else does. But yeah, that's how I hold it. And I'm doing that flick of the wrist like we used to kind of teach with the fast fuse, and that is working for me. I have heard other people say that it doesn't work for them. So it might just kind of, it's gonna be kind of a trial and error thing. But I will tell you, I love that idea that if you put adhesive uh, let's see, let me keep, <laughs> let me do this first here, right? So we're going to put some little babies on there. Okay. So what I was starting to say was when we go to put adhesive on here, if it stops, which now it probably won't, but if this wasn't sticky and I can feel that it is, but that's what kept happening to me before. It was like, I wasn't breaking the seal enough, but I love that idea that you go back and pick up some more adhesive if yeah, ooh, there it is, right there. And then it gets running again, it did. Yep, okay, that's good. So I like the, there. So we're gonna pick up a little bit more because it wasn't sticking. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that is fabulous. I love that. So do you guys get that? So the idea, and I've already kind of gone around here, but we'll do a little bit more, right? So if I run this and, it, and I go to put it down and it doesn't work, which it's actually not right now, I'm gonna go back and pick up a little bit more adhesive. And then it's almost like it advances it forward because what I kept having to do was I would run it and then I'd go to use it again and it wasn't sticky and I'd have to use my finger to advance it forward. That is the one key is you don't like push really hard or um, yeah, ma mainly just don't push really hard thinking you're gonna get it to keep going. If it's not sticky, you have to find a way to advance it. You can use your finger and advance it or I love that idea of just grab some where adhesive already is and it helps roll it to get the adhesive to the point where it'll start running again. So what a great idea. Oh. Love it. Thank you for sharing that tip, Nikki. Okay, so now I think we definitely have enough adhesive. I do generally put quite a bit of adhesive around the edges because I don't like with the embossing folders, I don't like when it kind of rumples up, you know, because there's so much texture on there, right? Okay, good thing I did not peel those off yet because I want to tie my beautiful, the pool party sheer ribbon. And this ribbon is actually part of our whale of a time class to go. You can get a full bolt of this ribbon if you sign up for that class to go. Or you can just order it yourself. Yeah. We use some of this on our projects, but not all of it. So you'd have some left over, maybe to make this card or others. Okay, so then I always have to fuss with this a little bit. And sometimes it doesn't like um, go kind of the angle that I want. So some, like this one, I think I did have to even kind of undo and redo. Uh, let's see, you, you could spend a lot of time playing with these bows, right? Pull that one down there. there. We're gonna tighten it up. And what I like to do is even kind of use my finger to pull it, cause then, cause it always seems to loosen, but maybe not quite as much when you hold your finger down on it, okay? All right, so. Debbie, watching from the beach, I still love that. Oh my gosh. What a great day to be at the beach too. All right, so we're gonna put this one. You guys, I think I might like the a little bit more black peeking out even better than the other one. Mm hmm. You guys have to tell me which one you like better. I'll show you the other one in a sec. I'm looking at it and you probably can't even really see it, can you? Okay, so there is our Just Because. Okay, so here's the one, yeah. I think I like seeing more black. So teeny tiny little bit showing right there. Much more showing here. Oh, and of course, we need a few rhinestones. So let's kind of pop those on our card. Looks like I need to trim, oops, trim the bow down a little bit on this side too. It's a little bit extra long. There we go. All right. So ladies, what do you guys think? You have to vote, which one? More black around the edge or less black? I think I'm going this one, right? And then here's our other card, right? Okay, so quick recap, as always, I like to do this when we are wrapping things up, okay? So don't forget, make sure you use the host code, more black, yep, me too, number two, all right. So use the host code, put your order in of at least $30, you're gonna get these make and takes, you either get the make and takes or the completed cards. I send you an email and ask you which one you would like, right? Your name also goes in the drawing to win the fun new Hippo Happiness stamp set, right? Bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from either the new Butterfly Gems as a free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Tons of great 3D project ideas in here this month so you can make treats for everybody. So here's the host code, shop online. You get your um, $5 bonus day coupon when you order at least $50 as well. So great time to shop. Thank you guys so much. I'm, I think everybody's liking the more black. Now I wish I had done that in the beginning. Anyway, okay, so you guys have a great weekend. Loved hanging out with you guys today and thank you so much for joining. And yes, Teresa, I'll get your goodies sent out to you. So see you guys next Friday. Bye everybody, thank you. Have a good weekend.